The opinions and views expressing political talk belong to its commentators and are not those of Nextar Broadcasting Incorporated, this station, or their affiliates or employees. Welcome to this week's Political Talk with Tom Santulli and Dora Leland. As protests continue throughout the nation, sometimes leading to violence, is the president's directive to send federal troops into states an appropriate measure to deal with the crisis? That's the topic for today. Dora, what do you think of the president's decision to do that? Well, there's so much um, coming into play in this. You know, he just ordered hundreds of law enforcement agents into uh, cities. Um, these agents are a new force created by the president, you know, whose personnel is drawn from many federal agents. And he's gotten on television saying that he might uh, even invoke the Insurrection Act. Now, you know, I'm a history teacher. That was passed in uh, 1807, and it was passed mainly to deal with quite frankly, Native American insurrections. It, it's rarely been used. Um, so you have to ask yourself, well, what, what's, what does this boil down to? Why would uh, a president send troops into cities which have clearly, the local and state authorities have not been asked uh, whether or not they want it. Matter of fact, they've been pretty clear that they are not in, in agreement with this. And I, I think it's clear that this is a political move. You know, the president himself has identified these cities as um, liberal run cities. Matter of fact, he hasn't even tried to hide this. You know, he's been quoted saying, we're looking at New York, we're looking at Chicago, all run by very liberal Democrats, all ran really by the radical left. Um, and you know, it's not making anything better. Uh, it's not helping anyone, it's not making anyone safer. You know, in Portland, you had it just, a nightmare. You had unidentified officers operating under his executive order to protect the, you know, federal monuments and buildings. Uh, a man's uh, skull was fractured, a uh, hand was broken, and these were peaceful protesters. Mm -hmm. And what it's going to come down to, there's several lawsuits uh, filed in federal court on questioning whether or not that this is an appropriate use of federal force. Uh, one, I know the attorney general in uh, Oregon is saying that, you know, this is a clear violation of the 10th Amendment, which gives policing powers to state and local authorities. Mm -hmm. So how it plays out is really going to, once again, we're back in the federal courts yeah. to see, is this an, un, an unauthorized use of force? All right, Tom, what do you think about this? Well, here's how I see it. We do have very progressive Democratic mayors and Democrat mayors in these major cities. And what's going on is there's, a, there's, a, there's violence. And I think the public, as they sit at home and turn on their televisions, and here in Portland, there's no problem. And then they turn it on, and they see people fighting and knocking people down and hitting people over the heads, caps over the heads, throwing things at police officers. The same thing in New York City. And I think it's fair to bring up these are all run by progressive Democrats who now have taken over the party. You know, you've got Nancy Pelosi hiding. you got... Uh, Schumer hiding. These people have stolen the show, and this is where they're going. They see nothing wrong with what's going on in these cities. It's just people expressing themselves, even though people are getting hurt. Uh, crime is up immensely in these large cities, 150, 200 percent shootings, children getting shot. Oh, but what's wrong with that? I mean, these this is just people express. This isn't people expressing themselves. It's people that realize these people are afraid of them. We're going to do what they want, and these mayors are hiding instead of showing any leadership. And here's what's happening. People are fleeing these big cities, Philadelphia, Chicago. Here we got Mayor de Blasio in New York. Oh, everything's wonderful. You know, even Cuomo said the president's offer, not to send troops, but to send federal law enforcement who are already there working with local and state police, it's mm -hmm. a good idea. But he doesn't. No, de Blasio is going to drive business out, which he started, people leaving New York City and the state that's, that leads the nation in loss of people because they just don't know how to restore it. They hate Trump. That's all they know is they hate Trump. And I really do think that at the end of the day, the public is going to look at this and say, this is outrageous. You, We want law and order. That's what people want. They don't want abuse of police, but they want protection. And I think, quite frankly, it's it's this will probably put the president back in the White House. Dora, your response to that? Um, I think that we're really missing the, the clear picture. And the clear picture is that we have, we have some real deep systemic problems in our nation that we are fractured. Um, Black Lives Matter did not come out of nowhere. 
Um, it, it came from years and years of systemic racism, racism, inequality. I think these are things that need to be addressed. Sure, we need to curtail violence. We certainly need to have people following laws and have peace. But that can't be at, at, the, at the expense of not dealing with these issues. Mm -hmm. And I think if the president really wanted to help these cities, he would have offered mm -hmm. um, uh, help in, in the dealing with the pandemic and dealing with some of the issues that, that these mayors and, and governors have been dealing with. Mm -hmm. All right, on that note, we thank you both. Did you want to say something before we go, Tom? I these, these progressive mayors could care less what Trump offered, whether it was COVID-19. They have, they have taken over the party. They got their own agenda. They hate Trump. And there's going to be no sitting down and talking about this. I agree with, with Dora. We need to sit down and have a conversation. But you can't do it while you're, uh, and it's not the peaceful protesters, while these people are destroying property and people's lives. You can't do right. it. On that note, we thank you both uh, for your comments on this developing issue. Uh, and of course, for the latest edition of Political Talk, you can simply log on to our website, mytwintears.com. But we'll be right back.